Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom. This question has been sent to me by a student, which comes from a resource called 1000 Extension to Revision Questions by Steve Howard. And you can download a copy of it for free from Steve Howard's website, howardmathematics.com, which I would recommend any Extension 2 students to do. It's a great resource, it's free, so you can't beat that. Um, and it, it really is just a great thing to have to practice questions. So um, this is question 10 out of the 1000 and it reads, prove that the sum of two consecutive even positive powers of two is always a multiple of 20. And I think the key to this question is simply reading it slowly so that you know what you're dealing with. So we're adding up two things those two things that we're adding up are the consecutive even positive powers of two. So if I just come in and write down what we're dealing with, so we want the sum of two things being the two even consecutive powers of two. So what we want to do is let two to the power of two n be our first two to the power of an even number. 2n will always be even. And then we'll let 2 to the power of 2n plus 2 be the next 2 to the power of an even number. And notice how I've had to add plus 2 because if I go plus 1 then I'll get an odd number but I want the consecutive even powers. So I think this is the key to the question, just simply defining what we're dealing with. Um, so I'm going to let 2 to the 2n and 2 to the 2n plus 2 be the um, two consecutive um, even powers of 2. And from there we can just do, do the algebra. So we want to add those up. So 2 to the 2n plus 2 to the 2n plus 2 is equal to um, 2 to the 2n plus 2 to the 2n times 2 to the 2. This plus here I can just, um, they've got the multiply by a common um, base and then you can just um, have the exponents separated. So now I can um, simply see that I've got um, 2 to the 2n plus 2 to the 2n times 4, since 2 squared is 4. That means I've got 5 of these 2 to the 2n, so I've got 4 over here and 1 over here. So that's 5 times 2 to the 2n. And this I can write as 5 times 2 to the 2 to the power of n, since when you've got um, 2n here, I would be multiplying these exponents if I have 1 to the power of the other. So that's going to be 5 times 4 to the power of n. And now the key is to think about, well, what does 4 to the power of n, what is that? And um, if I just, if we just go over here, 4 to the n is 4 times 4 times 4 times times 4, and we're doing that n times. That's basically what 4 to the power of n is. So if I was to factor out one of these 4s, if I was to call all the remaining 4s some number k, we can write 4 to the n as simply 4k. That is something you can definitely do. And this k would just be the remaining 4 times 4 times 4, basically 4 to the n minus 1. Um, so you get 5 times 4. 4k, you can, you can write 4 to the n as, as 4 times some number k. So that's going to be 20k, um, which means the sum of these um, two consecutive even powers of 2 is a multiple of 20. And that's what the question was asking us to show. So that's how you tackle that. I think um, once you... you get to the point where you define what you're dealing with. The, the algebra is fairly straightforward. I mean, you do need to kind of um, have a few 
little moments of creativity and, and really understand what you're dealing with. But um, beyond that, it, it, it's all fairly okay and manageable, I think. So um, hopefully, hopefully you've found that helpful and you've been able to follow along with that. And uh, tick boom.